Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12-week intensive programs. They also offer some after-hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain bootcamp and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer so i got a question about algorithms and data structures in web development this is a popular topic uh, you can check out all the videos i've done on algorithms and data structures and learning algorithms here i should have a playlist for that but this question is from Vinny, and he says Hi John, I would like to start off by saying your content is incredible. Uh, your work is much appreciated. Now, my question, and I'm sure it is a question many developers ask, is how important is it for a web developer to know data structures and algorithms? If they are important, how are they used mostly? Thanks, Vinny. So, I'll be, I'll be totally honest here. As a web developer, needing to know algorithms and data structures, the, the need for it is not as high as if you're a back-end developer. If you're not sure what a back-end developer is or what a front-end developer is, you can check out the, the video here I have on, on what is a back-end developer. But, but it doesn't mean that you don't need to know it and it doesn't mean that it's not gonna help you at all. So let, let's, let's think about this for a little bit here. So if you're working mostly as a web developer and mostly on the front-end, right, what you're gonna be doing is a lot of stuff with the user interface, right? You're gonna be creating a lot of controls and, and the visual aspect of it and not maybe crunching data as much, but that doesn't mean that you're never going to, to do something that requires an algorithm or data structure. The, the, the thing is like, if you think about it, uh, algorithms and data structures, it's like having a really good toolbox with a lot of tools in it, right? Now, you might be able to get by with just, just a hammer and a screwdriver and a few things, right? And, and you might be able to figure out how you can use nails and a hammer and screwdriver and screws for, for just about anything that you need, but it's not gonna be the best and it's not gonna be the most efficient thing, right? So as a web developer, yeah, you might not need a, a really complicated toolbox, but if you have those things, if you have that, okay, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have more possibilities. You're gonna have more things. And, and here's the other thing is that, like, like I said, as a web developer, you might not need this stuff, and, and you might see ways that you can use your existing tools and the, the, what you know, uh, but you're, until you understand this stuff, until you actually take a study and you really understand data structures and algorithms, you're not even gonna see the opportunities where you could use them. So you, you're gonna be a little bit naive, right? As a web developer not knowing this stuff, you might be, get, be getting by on your job and you might be doing just fine, but you don't know what you're missing, right? This is one of those unknown unknowns because you don't, w once you see things differently because you have that ability, right? Th then, then everything, you know, th they always say that, you know, when you, when you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And that's, that's sort of the mentality that, that you can get into when you don't have this, uh, this larger repertoire of skills in software development. So I would, I would basically say this. If you're starting out, if you want to get into web development, maybe don't worry too much about the algorithms and data structures. You don't have to have necessarily a really, really solid computer science background, okay? And, and this is where the web, the boot camps come into play, right? So a lot of developers go through boot camps and then a lot of senior developers or experienced developers say, oh, the bull camps, the, uh, the bull camps, they call them bull camps, right? The boot camps are bullshit because you're not actually learning the real software development, computer science stuff. You're not actually learning how to create algorithms and data structures and all the fundamental stuff. You're just learning how to, how to do the, the web development part of it, which is not, you're not a real programmer. Not true, okay? <laughs> but, but, but you can't stop there, right? So it's a great boost, it's a great starting point if you can go through a boot camp, if you can get the ex enough knowledge and experience to actually start working in the field, but then you're not done. Now you go back and now you learn the data structures, now you learn the algorithms, right? Now you learn this kind of stuff 
that is going to make you better and give you a deeper, more thorough understanding and knowledge of your field. And now, you know, now this toolbox, you're going to know how to use it, right? I think a lot of developers that go through college, one of the problems that I see is that they learn data structures and algorithms, or they sort of learn them. They get through the tests, right? And then by the time they get into the real world, they've forgotten most of that stuff because they haven't seen how to actually use it, right? If, if I show you how to use a bunch of tools, right? If I pull out this, you know, some, someone who's a real good woodworker and I pull out their toolbox and I show you the lathe and all the stuff and I show you how to use all that stuff just in a demonstration, but, but you're not actually building anything of, of real use with it, it it's, not gonna, it's not gonna stick. But, and it's not gonna be useful to you, right? When, when you start doing some simple stuff, but if you're already working, if you're already working as a woodworker or something like that, and now I introduce some tools to you, and I show you how you can use these tools to make your job easier, wow, that's gonna stick with you, it's gonna make a lot of sense, you're gonna understand that stuff, and, and it's gonna be more valuable to you. So, it's, it's really about, it's really about uh, I expanding your abilities and being able to see problems uh, better uh, th through the lens of someone who, who has the capability, who has the toolbox that, uh, that, that's going to allow them to, to, to be more effective, right? And so that, that's what you got to think about is, is so, so I'll, I'll just basically say this, I'll end with this and I'll say, look, if you're a web developer currently, uh, you should probably invest some time in learning data structures and algorithms. If you're not a web developer currently, and you want to become one, don't worry about that stuff for now, okay? Unless you need it for an interview. But get your web development skills, get, start working, start actually building stuff, and then start learning some of these data structures and algorithms, and you're going to see how you can use them, and that's going to benefit you. All right, I hope that helped you. If it did, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. I do about two to three videos a day, and if you have a question you'd like me to answer, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.